I'm here. Okay. It's fast. Quantum Drive is now off. To look around the ship, and this thing is full of guns and missiles. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning around in third person around the ship, it's got two guns on the top, two on the bottom, four missile racks from what I can tell. Yep. Uh, two guns on the front. Maybe. It's an exploration ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we come in peace.
You know what hangar you're going into? Uh, no idea at the moment. Sluggish. And yet you flew a reclaimer. <laughs> a reclaimer, I expect to be sluggish. Automated. Ah, oh, there we go, got the auto land. Yeah, that's better. Okay, the reclaimer's a flying brick. I expect that I did not respond well to <laughs> stuff. <laughs> this thing's a slick exploration ship. Alright, if you just drop the ramp. Or the elevator thing. Yes. See if I can get crushed by something underneath the ship. Alright. I'm on. Where's the little. You're on one of the lifts. Yeah. I thought there was a control panel on one of them, but I guess not. It is. There we go. Welcome aboard. I made it! Oh, he almost went on the ladder. And he <laughs> did. Okay. The ladder's <laughs> still really unreliable. That request has already been granted. Is the hangar doors open? Can't actually see. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Take off complete. <laughs> Wee! Oh man, I got a screen. Got a screen. There's nothing on the screen. Oh. It's blank, but yeah. other than that. Next <laughs> yeah. screen in front of you. <laughs> it's nice. So I don't really understand the point of the options and prisons are humans. You say it's humans. I get that now you just call it a certain speed you want to be going out and then press C to lock it. It's on for that. But then press your after button and it jumps the opposite of it. Like I'm running 130 and I press the after button and boost me to 200. And then let go. It drags me back down to 100 and something again. So surely I'm going at that speed, and they're just capable of going at that speed. I think it was them. It's all, they're trying to balance. Because it used to be, like, once you got up to that speed, you stayed that speed. Yeah. Was how it originally was. But then it made the combat weird because people didn't, really understand what they were yeah. trying to do so everyone was just like full throttle like the whole time <laughs> so that's why you wind up with like those like they call them like the jousting fights where people just like yeah, go flying yeah. at each other top speed completely overshoot do like turns and just keep doing that back and forth so then they slowed it way down and everyone hated it because then it was super slow so then they came up with this system where it's like okay you can go super fast but you can't like lock it in at that speed. Yeah. And then they separate his afterburner fuel still separate from the regular fuel. Oh, okay. That, that was something else they did. The landing in this is way better than it was in the last version. Just like you try and spot like somewhere to land and then you'd just be sliding all over the place trying to get in. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. 
So we're going back to Hurston then. Oh, uh, wherever we, yeah, if there's mission givers there. I, I think, check some stuff. I'm pretty sure that there is. And I haven't been in the business district there anyway, so it'd be cool to see Okay. That. Yeah, I'm good and with that. And caves, if we can get cave missions. The entirety, so I'm get... assuming this purple thing I'm seeing is it's the horizon. Uh, contract thing in here somewhere, contracts manager. I don't know if you can you can manage once you already have. Oh, you used to be able to get missions through here. Yeah. It's an array hack one. Deliveries. <coughs> yeah, I think the mining ones, not mining, the cave ones are like one labeled investigation or something like that. Okay. <laughs> red wind explore. delivery pilot needed. What's the difference between a red wind delivery and a delivery pilot for Copalex? Uh, well, they've really increased the amount of money you get for the jobs. How much is it up to now? I mean, it's in the thousands. Oh. I feel like the last time I played, you were, yeah, paying 6,000. Yeah. Before it was like, yep, yeah, you get 300, <laughs> 150. Yeah, it was almost pointless. Right. Oh yeah, that planet's uh, wad is real whacked, it whacked out. What's that, the, the snow one? Whatever oh, oh. we just left. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was just a purple. Videos of the next patch as well, it's, um, it's not really that much better. On like the detail on the terrain, and the levels of detail on that, really good, but the buildings just pop in all over the place. I couldn't even, it was just a big purple sphere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've got jurisdictions now. Yep. Did you see you've got um, melee combat in the next patch as well, fist fighting. Uh, that's pretty cool. And you can do it... Um, you can do it anywhere out of jurisdiction or on Grimhex. Like, Grimhex is just a free-for-all. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine trying to land there and having, like, security guards with you just to stop people from pushing <laughs> you. Because <laughs> you can't shoot people, but you're allowed to beat them up. Someone's going to have to establish law and order down there. Yeah. There's just... I think that's like the thing that's hampering it the most right now, is just the number of players in the instance. Like, yeah. 50 players spread out across a game world this big, like, you rarely see anybody. Yeah, unless you go into, like, something that's just been added and everyone's trying to get right. out there. But they are like Grimhex. They're stress testing it at the moment. On the yeah. ACU, so hopefully we'll see that bigger next time. Right. It is annoying as well when you're trying to join a server with people and it's just completely. Yeah. Different. So I think they're going to. It's going to be something similar to. I think it's the, the crew, that racing game. Where it's like your instant, like around where you're at. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That, that game's got a pretty big game world, but you can only like wherever you're at. I think it it instances in like six players mm -hmm. or maybe eight players that are like near you. But then like if you drive to another part of the game world, like it'll it like shifts who those eight people are in your instance. But it's never more than eight players wherever you're at. Yeah. Which would be cool if it was, I mean, if they did that with 50, that would be still pretty sweet, because then it's like you go to a planet, there's 50 people there. Yeah. <sighs> it's... 
cruise it. I'm excited to fly the Carrack when that comes out. That's going to be good. A little Star Trek shuttle. Yeah. Well, I'm just being able to, like, <laughs> the smaller ships inside the bigger ships, I think, is increasingly becoming important because yeah. as you said, like getting these big ships down to planet surfaces is a whole freaking thing exactly i'm hoping they'll add a dock for the the little argo troop transport mm -hmm. like the yellow thing right for the um reclaimer because that definitely needs it but then i suppose that's potentially going to have the ship to station docking stuff so i don't know Ideally, I would just like salvaging, but it's a way off yet. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. I got the screen on. Oh, nice. What can you do with it? Uh, so it looks like I can bring up, let's see here, menu. I can bring up any th other sh sip, ship's subsystems mm -hmm. on it, on this display. Because when you used to do this before, you couldn't do comms. It wouldn't let you do that. Like it would appear on your screen, but not on mine. So we can try Bring that. up comms. Because that would be super useful. Yeah, I can do comms. Or at least it looks like I can do comms. Got heat, power, yeah, shields, weapons. Can you see what's on my screen? Uh, no, it's just blank to me at the moment. Okay. Yeah, you gotta turn it on with a button over here on the armrest. What? What is that? What is that? Pointing at? <laughs> I hear it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Boom! Okay. This planet looks planety. <laughs> no, a Thank God. Quantum drive I was like, now they're all just purple. This is going to be a rough one. <laughs> okay, uh, where's our point we're jumping to? It's still on cooldown. Okay. There we go. Quantum drive is now on. Oh, okay, it's all the way around the other side. Just on the other side of the planet. Wee! Yeah. Okay. Quantum drive is now off.
find Hurston's the hardest one to dock at, or land at rather. Well, it's also like you got that window that if you don't fly perfectly yeah, through exactly. it, you die. <laughs> yeah, and you don't get a lot of warning about it either. No. <laughs> I'm on comms. I don't see it yet. Does it give you like a little refresh button on the top? No. Uh, Here, let me hop out of the. I'll, I'll go back to the. The Pisces has got one, but doesn't seem to have it on here. I feel like the last time I landed here, I had to get unsettlingly close before yeah. it gave me the. See other ships that were roughly in the right place. Oh, I got it. Alright, I put in a request. Looks like we got something down there. Oh yeah, that's it. Nice. It works. Landing gear deployed. Handles like a dream. What are you talking about? <laughs> it would be nice if we were able to like so oh. just beach it on the back. <laughs> there we go. If we they need like cameras on these things or like some 3d thing that shows you some situational awareness of your ship there's no way you're like <laughs> hey we're down landing complete okay turn this thing off where's the button for that there we go weapons system is off so all right so uh oh, there we go exit i see it i saw it <laughs> what's the button for torches Uh, tango. No, oh, apparently I just got in the sea again. <laughs> Hold on a sec. <laughs> there aren't like sh l sh like lights in the ship you can flip uh, on. There's okay. gotta be lights in here. Yeah, I turned the power off. Oh. Uh... Probably should have just turned the engines off, but doesn't matter. Okay, right. This is the thing, right? Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, there's not space for two. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Probably just broke my legs. Uh, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> Which way is out? This way. Let's send it back up.
but where do we need to be? Mass transit this way. Well, what's going on in here? These AI are getting trapped inside oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> so excited about the new ship. Yeah, they've jumped the barricade. Okay, this looks promising. Customs. Spaceport line, commerce, is that oh, central business district? That sounds promising. Citizen security reserves the right to search travelers at any time. Passengers disembark before boarding. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Oh, another player. What are the ads? I mean, the whole train system is really cool. Yep. <laughs> this massive city, you actually have to get a train across to get to where you need to be. <laughs> and it's on a schedule. Yeah. Next stop, Central Station. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. Well, okay. Okay. Oh. It's fancy. Very fancy. Yeah, there was like a whole stock exchange or something in here. Yeah, I think there's shops where you can buy weapons and stuff like that as well. <sighs> On behalf of Hurston Dynamics CEO, Gavin E. Hurston, welcome to Floorville Central Business <laughs> What? Whoa, the size of this gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, have you seen um, the Crusader Ares that they've just put on sale as well? No. It's like a capital ship killer. It's basically just a, a fighter with a massive gun on it. Like a size 6 <laughs> rail gun or something. It's ridiculous. The gun is bigger than the um, spaceship. It's like the A-10 of spaceships. Yeah, spaceships. that's basically what they compared it to. <laughs> oh yeah, it's his, uh, some sort of showcase? What is this? HD showcase. Something or other. High definition. Mm. No, Heston Dynamics. <laughs> is the guy just floating, chilling out over there? Yep, nope, I see him. <laughs> he is flying. Oh yeah, it's just, just <laughs> guns. 
Can you buy them? It looked like I had the option to interact with it. Oh yeah, you can. What was it? Okay, it's only 62,000 credits for that one. Well, credits are... We're getting about 6,000 a contract now, so... <laughs> <laughs> so by the time they reset this server, we'll have enough to buy one guard. <laughs> Thirty thousand. That's not too bad. My God. Okay. Let's see if we can find this mission. Give a guy. You. <laughs> nope, not in the executives. Transfers. Okay, this looks promising. A dude. He seems important. I'm yeah, sorry. He... This isn't a great time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll come back okay. later. Maybe we have to get someone to introduce us to him or something. Oh, we'll get over here. Stuff. What's up? Hmm. Let me Google it. What time is it? Half eleven. Yeah, we're good. I can do one mission still. Get down here. Hurston. Trading consoles? Yep, okay. Please clear hangar for ship storage. Piston, mission giver's guide. Please clear so. hangar for ship storage. Maybe we need to work our way up to this guy. Okay. It says the first three mission givers are in uh, Levski. Okay. And then it's a guy at Grim Hex. The last two mission givers bring us to Lawville on Hurston. So yeah, maybe mm. we need to work up to them. Okay. Do we want to go to Levski? Yeah, let's do Levski. I like Levski. Levski's good. Uh, where am I? <laughs> this way? <laughs> I need a map just for this building, let alone the whole city. Exit! Exit! Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so transit, there we go. At least if we get to Levski, then if we're doing some more tomorrow, we'll be at Levski to do missions. Right. Is that 
train there. Can we make uh, that? Go, Run. go. <laughs> no, it's gone. <laughs> the next one. You just pulled in. Go, go the other way. Oh, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep running. Not gonna make it. How long we got? Not no. long enough. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to King's Cross. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could do this. <laughs> Is this the right train? I don't know. <laughs> no. Uh... no I'm just waiting here. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you time the trades exactly that? <laughs> That's gotta be intentional. That's not yeah. an accident. <laughs> Whoa, that dude just ran into you. Yeah. Got his tie tucked into his weird space belt or whatever that is. Now arriving from the spaceport. Stay by and let passengers disembark. The fashion of the future. <laughs> yeah, everyone tucks their ties into their belts. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, we're on a train. <laughs> we made it. On the plus side, at least the mission giver isn't in Art Corp and we have to fly all the way back there again. <laughs> That is true. Now they just need to make it so that standing slowly drains your stamina. Next stop, so you have to sit down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it is. So what have you got at the moment? You got the Mustang and the um... got a Gladius and then the two-seater Hornet. Nice. Okay. <coughs> sure not comfortable cross-road tripping ships. Cross-country tripping ships. Hangar nine. Where's hangars? Uh... Like it's this way. Yeah. Well, 
went into the floor there for a second. <laughs> <Dick> fine. <laughs> oh, oh, disconcerted jumping. That's not what happens. <laughs> What the heck is this thing? This is what is this? Star Trek shuttlecraft thing for the Karak. What? The one with the guns on. Okay, close that up. Oh, it's got a little bench. Wait, yeah. what is this? So you got cargo Please. storage here, and then. Oh, okay. Seats. Thought there were like some fold down seats here, but okay, I see. Open. Oh god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> strapped <up>. in! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm not strapped in. I gotta close it. Yeah, you have to close it down. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know how. I don't know how to close it down. I think you need to buckle me in like a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this thing is fast though. How the heck are you supposed to close this thing? You can't. You can't close it. <laughs> Is there a window in the back? Whereabouts? Like right on the door? Yeah. I don't know. Why can I not set root? No, it's just space dust floating around in here. Oh, we may have to make a stop on the way. <laughs> now that we don't have enough gas? No, that's why I can't <laughs> set a route. No, we're, it is we're not. On Hurston, which is there. Let's go there. So it's like a rest stop there. <coughs> yes. That one we can do. Yep. You didn't strap yourself in, did you? No, it won't let me. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting down, but okay. it's not letting me close the little over the shoulder thing. <laughs> see, <laughs> see if you can close it. I think I can. I'm sure I just had an action on it. What was that? I can, yeah, because I can interact with the one across from me. Hang on, there we go. Close. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Safe. You probably can't get out now, though. Oh, there you go. No, I can. It. <laughs> it, it does nothing! <laughs> Void of space. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> I didn't just tried jumping out of a 
quantum jumping vehicle before. I think you just sort of end up in space. Yeah, you do. It just ditches you wherever you get out. The fact that this is even happening right now is without us flying out is nothing short of a miracle. Yeah. Not a lot of headroom in here. No. But I can see this ship being useful, like you dock your Carrick somewhere up in space and leave it there and then you bring this thing down. Does this thing fit on the uh, Wichman ramp of the Constellation? Um, the big one? I don't know. It uh, seems like it, yeah, it feels might like be... It would do. It's gotta be close. It might be just like if it is a little too big. I'm pretty sure you but, can put it on the 890. I bet if it doesn't fit in the Connie, it would fit in the Reclaimer. <laughs> I don't know, the lift for the Reclaimer isn't that big. You can... But doesn't it have like a bay you can just go straight into? No, you can only get in through the lift on it. <sighs> yeah. I thought it had get... like a ramp that you could open up. No. You can what get a Dragonfly on if you can somehow get it past the buggy anti-grav physics on the uh, elevator. Yeah. I think you can get a tumbral cyclone on there as well. Yeah. Because this is like a perfect like, you know, jump ship, like little ferry. Yeah, exactly. Move some stuff, move some people. Yeah. Yeah, I bet this would almost fit inside a constellation. It's got to be close. Right, maybe not tonight, but tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, how are we doing? Ah, oh, nearly there. Another three million. <laughs> Scant three million. <laughs> I mean, it's out of twelve, so not too bad. I was, oh, I thought it was gonna let me press these buttons over here. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, so you jump in this thing, fly down to a planet, do some yep. cave diving or whatever, find some cool stuff, jump back in, and fly away again. Right. Or someone could fly your ship down and pick you up in it. Or even just like like with when you start getting into like reclaimer sized ships, just going down to a planet period in it is like a whole ordeal. So yeah, like exactly. it, it would just be nice to be like, okay, I got us here. I'm just gonna take this thing down to Lowerville or wherever. Yeah. Rather than trying to maneuver that thing through atmosphere. There's a whole thing about people getting angry about every ship becoming a carrier, though. Like, not every ship needs to have its own little docking bay and stuff. Which I sort of get, but some ships definitely need it. It just makes, if you're a ship that big. Yeah. I mean, it's like, what drives these things other than necessity and utility? Yeah. And that's, why, that's why things exist. If something was handled super slow in atmosphere and was had awful maneuverability it makes sense that you would and it had space for a tiny ship to fit in it yeah. that you would just do that so i can see like especially with some of the bigger ships like people having almost like taxi services where you have a someone that's got a fleet of the argos which go from a station or a city and pick someone yeah. up and dock in orbit Yep. And maybe that's what they're worried about, like, it removes the necessity for that? Yeah. But you're gonna think, too, like, you might have, like, bigger ships transporting people in mass between planets. They're not gonna, you're not gonna be like, yeah, take my little jump ship down. Yeah. It's like, no, hire the guy to come from the planet and come get you off my ship. <laughs> I got you here. <laughs> but 
the heck is that thing? That is, I believe, a rest stop, I think. Well, I hope it is, because we're going to be out of fuel if it's not. Uh, yep, I've been, I jumped to one and then it was like bugged out and it wouldn't let me refuel at it. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, no, no. All of these rest stops are getting the um, procedural interiors uh, patch as well. Yeah. It's going to be very cool. Is it, is it interiors? No. Um, yeah, I think it is actually. Because there's the exterior ones they've done where all of the stations mm -hmm. are really 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 cool and then each planet is going to have a station above the main city so you can sort of dock at that station <sighs> and then if you need to you can sleep right. there and then respawn there and all the rest of it yep okay, let's try and slow this down a bit it's coming in very quick uh, <laughs> calm speak When the um, train pulled into the station, I did get that weird sensation where I was expecting to feel like the train decelerate. Yeah. <laughs> I felt super weird when I wasn't getting that <laughs> inertial yeah. movement happening. I was like, whoa! Can you imagine that in VR. Right. <laughs> it's, it's weird, like, there's some, because I play Elite Dangerous on VR as well. Mm -hmm. I can play that perfectly fine, like, don't get any motion sickness, I can fly around and do dogfighting and all the rest of it. Just close that door. And I'm fine, but if I come out of the spaceship and drive the little rover in that game around, I feel sick in, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> I just don't understand why. It's, like, it's the same sort of movement style. It's just about right. being in the car rather than being in the spaceship. Is it bumpy? Like, well, the, the ride? A little bit, but then spinning a ship around and stuff isn't any less bumpy. Yeah. I don't know. I remember when I first tried it out. Um, oh, oh, what's oh, going on? Oh, God. Oh, oh <laughs> no. Oh, something terrible is happening to us. Okay, <laughs> we're okay. okay. We're okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what pad will we. Oh, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember when I first got it. Of course, you download all the things to try mm -hmm. out with, like the carnival games and that sort of stuff. And there was a roller coaster simulator, and I literally put it on 10 seconds. So I'm like, no, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Just instant sickness. Uh oh. How do I... Need hard crash. Failed the decompress file. Oh no. He crashed. Maybe? Did it? Submit. I think it did crash. Oh man. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll try and we can... refuel here. If okay. You can even do that? Oh. Where is that? Not available. Do I have to be in the cockpit to do it? 
stuff. You're still standing there. <laughs> you Am I? Didn't get out of the lift. Okay, I'll I'll refuel and then try and get to Levski. Then I'll probably sign off after that. Okay. So at least we're there to start next time. Cool. Cool, cool. Hopefully. Can you spawn from the rest and re uh, relax stops? Or are they just... Uh, I don't know. Then you'll be closer. So I could just come and pick you up from there. I'll be... I mean... Where you're going to... You're go Levski? Yeah. I'll hop on because I'm not going into work tomorrow. Oh, so okay. I'll just jump on at some point during the day and get my butt over to Levski from wherever I'm at. Cool. See if you can find the mission giver over there. Okay. And, um, work that out. Right. Perfect. Fuel. That one. Hey, there we go. Oh, what? Not available. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, Interesting. I might be stuck. <laughs> no, that's he's cursed. I mean, I could probably <coughs> spawn a different ship. Oh, I don't know. Might have to be something for tomorrow night. Well, I'll, I'll try and do the same. I'll try and get on in the day and get over to Lefty yeah. and then we can try that mission stuff. Cool. Alright. I will to, see you It's fun flying tomorrow. around. If we didn't really achieve anything. Yeah. But we saw the business district. That was cool. That's all this. That's all it is. <laughs> Just usually meandering aimlessly. <laughs> okay. Running yeah. into cool stuff. Yeah, I think if we get a mission then we can start earning some credits. Maybe buy one of those fancy guns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm guessing you haven't kitted your ship out yet, have you? No. We I usually, what I'll do is I just grab all the guns off one ship and stick them all on the other one. Mm. Which, whichever one I'm going to fly. But yeah, I haven't. <coughs> I haven't done any. I wonder, is it. I'm trying to think, because I feel like the last time I played, the equipment persistence was weird. And it was also, again, you weren't making a lot per mission and the stuff. Yeah. Was pretty expensive yeah but if we could start working towards yep. beefing up your combat ship then we can start taking on the combat missions or yeah stuff like that or maybe try doing the um the drug lab running again because mm -hmm. that was good money well i don't know what we're doing it in now because i've got cutlass you got uh, your little jump ship <laughs> <laughs> yeah four units to... we could just land the reclaimer there <laughs> 300 That's units, true. please. They'll fit. Let's go find somewhere I can land to sell it. <laughs> we'll use your jump ship. Just transfer them off four <laughs> units at a time. Yeah. So we got to start paying people to move it for us. <laughs> yeah, That's when I'm like, when are you going to be able to exchange yeah, currency in game in, in objects? Yeah. Things will start to get interesting then, too, I think. Because then you don't have to sell back to the NPCs, you can sell to another player. Yeah, exactly. That would be sweet. Alright. Well, yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. Cool. Right, I'll catch you tomorrow then. See you. Cheers, man. See you later. Bye.